Hi there. Um, I just want to share a few of my insights about best practice um, food waste management in Italy. I've been here for a few days now and one of the things that has really stuck out to me is the way that they supply compostable bags to residents wanting to recycle their food scraps. So uh, the traditional model in Australia and in many parts of the world is that the council supply these bags directly to residents. They can do this through a range of different ways. For example, they might drop them off um, to a household's doorstep or the residents may have to come and pick them up from a designated location. But they do this differently here in Italy. What they actually do is that they supply these compostable bags by the supermarkets when you're making your purchases. So for example, when you're purchasing um, fruit and vegetables, the produce bag that you use is compostable. So you can take it home and reuse it in your kitchen caddy as a liner for your food scraps. Um, the same is for the checkout bags. When you purchase your groceries and they're, they're stacking um, the groceries into the bags or you're stacking them in yourself, um, the bags that they supply is actually compostable. Now they actually charge the consumers um, for this service, I think it's about one euro cent or so for the um, produce bags for the fruit and veg and about five to ten euro cents um, for the checkout bags. And I think this is a really interesting and, and good model because it overcomes some of the traditional barriers with supplying compostable bags um, which are faced in Australia and other parts of the world. Um, the first one being cost. Um, at the moment in Australia the councils have to pay um, to supply the compostable bags and there's quite a large cost for the councils um, and I was, when I was speaking just yesterday to a council here in Italy um, they said that they no longer need to supply these bags because they're actually provided by the supermarket. Um, the second benefit is because they're supplying so many of these bags um, throughout Italy uh, they've achieved really good economies of scale which means that the price of compostable bags has come right down over here. And one of the third advantages is that the distribution model is super convenient for users. Every time um, they go out to do their grocery shopping, they get a supply of compostable bags, rather than having to wait for um, the compostable bags that's provided by council or having to go out of their way to go and obtain some. And another benefit is that the compostable bags are fresh. And what I mean by this is that um, because you're going out and purchasing fruit and vegetables, regularly, you're going to your grocery store regularly, you're get, constantly getting a supply of compostable bags that you can reuse at home to recycle your food scraps, um, rather than having them in the cupboard where they can sometimes break down if you get a roll in advance. Um, and lastly, um, I guess one of the disadvantages of this system over here in Italy that I observed is that um, with the fruit and vegetable um, bags, the produce bags, um, the way you purchase fruit and veg here is you go and get your fruit and veg, you just put them in your bag, then you move across to a machine that you that weighs the fruit and vegetables and prints out a little sticker. Um, the sticker is actually not compostable, or sorry, some of them are compostable and some of them aren't. And of course those that are not compostable, well, you can't then reuse that bag at home um, because it's now contaminated with a non-compostable item. So a bit of a challenge there, um, something to think about. Um, over here it's actually been legislated that the supermarkets provide these bags so for any jurisdictions thinking about um, putting a similar legislation in place uh, perhaps thinking about uh, not enabling people to put those stickers on would be an advantage. Alright well that's it for me for now just an initial insight, um, plenty more to come, thanks.